Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Alex with Grow with Meerkat. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to edit text on your website. Um, whether you want to just swap text, whether you want to um, just kind of change it around, it's pretty straightforward to do. You'll see that I'm logged into the uh, I'm logged into the website as an administrator, and you can tell because I have a admin bar here at the top with some administrative options. If you're not logged in, go ahead and log into your website now. Um, and what you'll do is you're going to navigate to the page that you want to edit. In this instance, let's say we want to swap out this group of text here. We want to change this. Um, once you're on, on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to click Enable the Visual Builder. And that will reload the page that you're on, but it will reload it within the confines of the Visual Builder. And the Visual Builder is cool because it allows us to make changes to our website while seeing how everything's going to lay out. So we do have full control over everything. Um, so let's scroll down here, and you'll notice that as I mouse over things, there's different colors, icons, things like that. Uh, you don't really have to worry about these. These are really just structural elements. Um, but just as an FYI, the blue represents a section. And you'll see, let me go up because it's a smaller section here, this one right here. You'll see that there's a blue border kind of around the top, around the sides of the screen, kind of around the bottom. That shows you where that section is or how big it is. Within sections, there are rows, which are the green. And you'll see that we have two rows here. And then rows have columns, and then the columns have modules. And so gray is always the module. What you're looking for when you want to edit stuff on your website, it's going to be these gray boxes. You don't have to worry about your... Um, your uh, rows or your sections. We've set all that up for you. You can ignore all that. What you're looking for are just these gray boxes that when I mouse over things, you'll see pops up. Uh, and just to kind of give you a, a quick crash course on these icons, the first one is move. You can drag modules into other columns. Uh, if you want to reorganize how they, you know, where they are, like let's say we want this button up top. Um, so you can move stuff around into different rows, whatever it might be. Uh, the gear icon is how you edit it, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this one is duplicate or duplicate. And save to library is, is this fourth one. You're probably never going to use this. This is really just for items that we may reuse on the website in multiple different places. Instead of recreating it every single time, we can save it to the library and then load it quickly. Um, but again, you're probably never going to use this. And then, of course, there is delete module. If you accidentally delete something, you can undo it by hitting Control C, or I'm sorry, Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac, and it will undo what you've done. All right, so let's get into what this video is about, which is editing the text. I can click on the gear icon and get this little pop-up window, which I can drag around, and I can just start typing right in here. Um, if I wanted to get rid of all these exclamation points, I can, and you'll notice over here, they're getting rid of them in real time as I type. Um, you've got your standard toolbar here, so if you want to make things bold or italic, or if you want to put in a bullet list or add links, block quotes, this should be very familiar to you if you've used any word processing uh, software or email platforms. Um, it's all going to function pretty much the same. You can ignore the design and advanced tabs. We've taken care of all of that for you to make sure everything is standardized on your website. So all your headings look the same, your body text looks the same. Um, so you don't have to really play around with any of that stuff. You can just come right in here, make the changes to your, com your content. And when you're done, you're gonna click the green check mark. And if I mouse over this, you'll see that it says save changes. And it does save the changes, but it only saves them to the draft, to what I see. If I were to refresh this page, the changes would be gone. If I were to uh, load it on the front end, like if I was a user, they would not see the changes I've just made because it's just saved in my draft. And this is helpful if you want to make a lot of changes on a page at once and then publish it all at once. When you're ready to publish, we're going to click on this little purple icon here, and you'll notice all these things slide out. The only one we care about is save, which is down here in the corner. I click save, and now it is publishing this page in real time. So now all my users will see these changes that I've made. Um, you don't have to worry about any of these other ones. Um, I will show you um, just this wireframe view here, which is this last icon. Uh, some people prefer this over the other one uh, because it's, again, kind of a blueprint. Where I can see, okay, here's my text and my video. If I jump back to the other one, we can see that we've got our... Oops, I clicked it twice. Uh, you'll see that we have our text and our video. 
text block here, video block here. Some people like to work in the wireframe. I prefer this visual view, whatever is convenient for you. Uh, and you'll notice all the modules have them. So if I want to change this, this is a blurb module. And it actually has an option for a title, which is weight loss in our content down here. This is just a regular text module, so real results. So all of these modules you can change. Uh, see, this has a title, number. And again, once you're done, you just click Save. If this spins and it shows you an X, it means there was an error. Uh, it did not save, so you should try it again until you get that check mark. Check mark means it was successful. And the only other caveat that I will say is if you're editing a page and you're doing just a ton of changes, make sure that you save early, save often, uh, because what a lot of people will do is they'll be working on a page maybe all day, just doing a ton of different pages or a ton of different changes, and maybe they'll leave and come back and leave and come back you know, throughout the day. At some point, your session may time out. And if it does that, your editor will still work. You'll still be in here making your changes. But when you go to save, you'll always get the X. It won't work. And what happens is your session is timed out. When it goes to save, it's going to say, hey, we don't know if this is a valid request because it doesn't have a valid session. We're going to deny this save. And uh, that can be very frustrating if you've made a ton of changes that can't be saved. So make sure that you save often. So that is pretty much it for editing text on your website. Um, if you have any questions, definitely ask your Grow With Meerkat rep or developer. And I will see you guys in the next video.